It's to week 14 of the Orlando Huskies franchise, and this week we're taking on the Kansas City Chiefs at home. And the Chiefs had had our number. There's no way to really put it, as the Chiefs have pretty much owned us. Not as bad as the Raiders, but they've still pretty much owned us. As they, we have yet to beat them as a team, 0-3, and, and we just haven't had an answer for their offense, but we hope to change that this week as Josh and the offense comes and takes the field. As Josh, 2,600 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 15 picks after a four-pick performance last week. And our right starting right tackle, Kemp, he had a team meeting this week players only meeting and pretty much just said that we had to play better and really called out a lot of the people including the offensive line and as you see Drew Stevens numbers last week and speaking of Drew Stevens he has a breakout game this week if he gets over 100 yards or two touchdowns his dev will go up as he has two rushes so far for only four yards now it's going to be a third and four to begin this one from the 29 yard line. Let's see if the Huskies could pick this one up as Josh tries to take off running and is sacked from Kitchens as guess who he beat the man who had the team meeting Kemp but that was more of a covered sack than Kemp really getting beat as no one was open downfield. And the Huskies will start this one off on a three and out. As Bryson Connor and Justin Martinez try and force that ball loose, but here comes Lamb. Has really had his way with the defense. As he has 2,800 yards on the season, 21 touchdowns, only three interceptions. I believe he threw one against us. I'm not 100% sure, though. Now going to be first and ten from the twenty-nine four for the Chiefs as Lamb is under center flipping the play already as Wiggins with a great tackle on Boston from behind and Boston had himself a day versus us last time over two hundred total yards of offense for Boston alone pretty sure he had two or three touchdowns Lamb's under center. And McMillan makes a great tackle on Boston. Now it's going to be a third and four. Third and four from the 35 yard line. Can this Huskies force a three and defense force a three and out here? As Grimes and CJ get to him, but he'll just throw one up and Bryson Connor with a great pass deflection as he threw that one up for grabs as CJ Hunter and. Grimes were getting after Lamb. Luckily, able to get that one off, but it will be a three and out for the Huskies defense as Connor Kelly is back there for the punt return. Doesn't really get a block there, only able to bring it to the 15 yard line. But the this Huskies offense will get another chance at it as it's first and 10 from the 15 yard line. As Josh tries to go up the seam to Damian Harrison who hangs on to it for Josh's first completion of the game. Going for 21 yard, 27 yards. Odom who has had Josh's number in these three meetings has uh, made the tackle on the play. And Drew Stevens takes this one, breaks one tackle, able to pick up five on the play. We could see a lot of Drew Stevens in this, in this one. As Josh has struggled of lately. Now it's going to be a second and five from the 47. And Josh tried to hit Jason Blacklock on the corner route. Just unable to hit, hit him as he's hit on the play. Now it's going to be a third and five from the 47 yard line. And Josh is hit again as Kemp is on the ground that time. And Kitchens. So far, is having his way with him. And the Huskies will have to punt it. As the Chiefs are fighting for a playoff position. And 
Huskies are trying to trying to knock them out of that position as this one goes into the end zone and the Chiefs and Lamb will start at the 20-yard line here as the the Huskies would really like to knock the Chiefs off and really force them out of the playoffs as Boston able to pick up nine after a broken tackle there able to shimmy his way through a small small hole but still found it and now it's going to be a second and one from the 29 yard line as Grimes unable to put his head up in Boston or Falk this time able to pick up 24 on the play now going to be a first and 10 from the 47 yard line as Falk picks up 24 on the play Lamb under center as Wiggins came in on the blitz untouched knocks Boston down for a loss of one is as Wiggins second tackle of the game so far it's now gonna be a second and 11 from the 48 as looked like a pick play on that play to be honest as Rainey able to pick up 10 on the play but it's gonna be a third and one now third and one CJ thought he had the tackle in the backfield Boston shrugs him off and just barely able to pick up about one and a half on the play it's now gonna be a first and ten from the 35 lame switching the play at the line it's now switched to a pass play but Dylan read that like a book and Luckily for Lamb, he's unable to pick him off as Selvi was the intended target right there, but unable to hook up with him as Lamb and Selvi have destroyed this team as a counterplay on first down or second down and Boston is into the end zone. Just a great play by the Chiefs. As the Husky sent a blitz from the other side, and just a great, great design, play design, and it's got a touchdown Chiefs, and out seven nothing late in the first. As Gage will return this one from about the one inch line, and he he had a small crease, just unable to fit through it. As Josh and the Huskies will start from the twenty one or twenty three yard line. Three tight ends on the field now for the Huskies. It's a handoff to Drew Stevens. Stevens only able to pick up three on the play so far. Not looking too great for that dev game. It's going to be second and seven from the 26 yard line. Huskies would way rather win than get this dev though. As Josh takes another sack to look trying to step up in the pocket and he loses three on the play the three we just picked up we just lose them right back as the d-line now has his x-factor as barnes is motion to the right and it's an empty set now for josh as kemp just didn't block kitchens as kitchens is having a field day on him as that's Kitchen's second sack in the first quarter, third overall for the Chiefs, and it's been all Kansas City in this one so far. As the Huskies will have to punt this one to begin the second quarter. It's a good punt. It's going to be fair called at the 28 yard line, and that's where Lamb and this offense will come back out on the field. As Boston with a nice run on the last drive. Defense was playing good up until that point. It's now going to be a first and 10 from the 28. Lamb flip, switching the play at the line of scrimmage. Switches it to a pass and nice pitch and catch there for five on the on first down to Edwards. It's now going to be second and five from the 20, second and five from the 34. And Grimes comes in immediately and sacks the quarterback as Fowler looks to be hurt on the play, holding his arm. 
And a great sack right there by Grimes. Fifth of the season for Grimes. Now takes over the lead. And Grimes and CJ forcing pressure once again. Forces Lame to throw the ball away. And the defensive line is starting to come alive in this one. As CJ has multiple pressure. And Grimes also has multiple pressures. And Wiggins is playing nice in the run. Now Connor Kelly back there for the punt. Connor only able to bring it to the 30-yard line. But that will be the best starting field position for the Huskies in this one. As they just got to get going. They haven't had any momentum the past couple weeks. Haven't scored over 20 the past couple weeks. And as Josh, what an awful read that one was from Josh. As that's, I believe, his sixth or seventh pick in the past three weeks. And that gives the ball right back to the Chiefs. And they'll begin to drive at the 40-yard line. As Boston brings it down to the 32-yard line. It's going to be a second and one now. Lamb switching the play and Johnson with a great tackle stopping Boston short of the first down marker it's going to be third and inches now third and inches for this Huskies defense and McMillan and Carrington able to hit Boston slow him up and the the Chiefs are not able to get the first down as it's going to be fourth and inches, and field goal unit is out, and that's shocking as they will kick it and go up 10 0 in this one. And Josh has kind of resorted back to his old ways in this one, and you gotta imagine if he keeps this up, don't know how much longer Coach Paul is going to put up with it as Jeff Dean is. Still sitting on the bench, and last time we saw him, Jeff Dean played very well. It's now going to be second and 10, or first and 10 from the 25 yard line. Handoff to Drew Stevens. Stevens still only able to pick up three on the play as he's just, he just hasn't been able to break one, one loose yet in this one. It's now going to be a second and seven from the 28. As Josh is strip sacked on that one. As Simmons is luckily able to pick it up. It's now going to be a third and 11 from the 24 yard line. And Josh just throws this one up deep to Kylo who had multiple steps on his defender. Overthrown. And who would have thought the Huskies have to punt once again after a three and out. As Justin Martinez makes a nice tackle on the punt return, the Chiefs will start their drive from the 37-yard line. Under center is Lamb. It's Carrington able to get a good push with Grimes, Grimes, but Carrington able to bring him down for a loss of one. And this D-line really is playing well so far this one. It's not going to be a second and 11. As Stanley wide open across the middle of the field there. Or Waddle wide open across the middle of the field there. And an easy pitch and catch as Husky sent a blitz. And it's going to be first and 10 from the 41 yard line. And Selvi's open on the slant. Another first down for the Chiefs. And this one could get ugly quick. It's going to be a. First and 10 from the 23 yard line. As Bryson Connor, what a throw and catch to Selvi. As Bryson Connor had solid position on the play. Just a great, great throw by Lamb. Fit it in the, into that tight window. And now the Chiefs are up 17 0 in this one. And 
and Gage won't be able to return this one as it, it is far too deep as we are late in the second. And this Huskies offense is looking clueless out there right now. As much as we saw last week, they looked clueless in that second half. And now it's first and 10 from the 25. Play action pass here. Josh just barely able to get that one off to Drew. Able to pick up five on the play. That's kind of been their longest play of the game. Outside of that Damian play, just five yard, three yard gains. And then they go backwards on second down. And it is second down here. But Hunter Purcell is wide open on second down. Able to hang on to it. And the Huskies are finally moving. Josh put it on the money that time. And they are finally able to move down the field. Just right before the two-minute warning. Onto the Chiefs side of the field. It's now going to be a first and 10 from the 46. Two tight end set. Two receivers to the left. Stevens in the backfield. Stevens now motions out to the right. Empty set for Josh. As Jamal Lacey wide open on the zig route. Able to pick up the first. Huskies offense looking a little better so far to begin this drive. As it's first and 10 from the 35 yard line. It's going to be a draw play to Stevens who fumbles on the play. And Drew Stevens has a second career fumble and couldn't have came at a more costly time. As now Lamb has his X Factor. And this is normally when the Chiefs start to go up big. As Bryce and Connor can't keep up with Selvi. And just an easy pitch and catch for a huge gain. Now going to be a first and 10 from the 35. As Dylan nearly picks him off. And Dylan might have still been running if he was able to get that. It's now second and 10 from the 35 yard line. Husky send a blitz here. Pushes Stanley out for a nine and a half yard gain. Good pickup on the blitz from the Chiefs it's now going to be a third and inches here can the defense get off the field As a, what a great throw and great adjustment on the play by the tight end Stanley it's now going to be first and goal from the 8 yard line as Grimes Able to get pressure after Lane and forces a throw away. It's now going to be second and goal from the 8 yard line. Lamb under center. Boston in the backfield. We haven't seen a lot of him. As CJ gets pressure and gets the sack. And that's his first sack of the season for CJ Hunter. What a big time to get his first sack of the season. Now gonna be first third and goal from the 13. After that sack and CJ and Wiggins and Grimes, everybody kind of collapsing after Liam on that play and forces a throw away. And the defense holds them to three once again. As the Chiefs kick it, and it's right down the middle, and they go up 20 to nothing. As you gotta imagine, the Huskies probably still throw the ball with 22, 23 seconds left. All three timeouts have to try and figure out how to get going in this one. As Gage won't be able to return this one, as the Huskies will start at the 25. And Drew Stevens having a pretty bad day, along with the rest of the offense, and gonna have to have to pick up something quickly if they want to get going. As Stevens had his man beat on the wheel route and Josh was loading up the throw. It just hit as he threw it and unable to actually hit Stevens. And it's second and 10 now from the 25 yard line. Hand the ball off to Stevens and Stevens hits the outside. Stevens has a lot of run to, room to run 
as he's down at the 49 yard line and the Huskies call their first timeout of the half. Just about midfield for the Huskies. First and 10. As Josh is picked off trying to throw the ball to Hunter. And this one might go back 4-6. As Stevens isn't fast enough to get him and it's a pick six. Matt Malone. Pick six, Matt Malone. Bring this one 27 to nothing. And the Huskies will have a new quarterback to begin the halftime. To begin ha the half. As Josh just threw his seventh pick in the last three weeks. As Gage will return this one from about the five yard line. There's no blocking for Gage. Brings it to the 25. And that will do it for the first half as it's been all Kansas City Chiefs. As the Huskies have struggled mightily. mightily. And the Chiefs will begin the, with the ball up 27-0. As James Aldridge will kick this one deep. It'll be a touchback, and the Chiefs and Lamb will begin to drive at the 25-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 from the 25, and Chiefs might just try and run some clock. As Johnson and McMillan, two of the bright spots on this defense this season, come and collapse on Boston, only a gain of one. Now going to be a second and nine from the 26. As CJ and Crimes forcing a ton of pressure once again on that play. And they've been doing it all game so far. As they've been getting matchups, wins after matchup wins. It's not going to be a third and nine from the 26. As Waddle is open downfield, wide open to be exact. And it's a huge play for the Chiefs. As the D-line just started to get through. Lamb just threw it just in time. Now it's going to be a first and 10 from the 40-yard line. But the Chiefs flipped the play in. And for good reason, as that is a touchdown Chiefs. Huge play to Selvi. It's now 34 0 for the Kansas City Chiefs. And defense looks like it's just giving up out there as the offense has yet to do anything. Barely over 100 yards on the day for the offense. Multiple picks, and Gage will return this one though. Still looking for his first career kick return, and he won't get it there as he's bring, brought down at the 21-yard line. And as you see it, a new quarterback will begin the game, begin the half, as Jeff Dean will replace Josh in this one. As the Huskies are down 34-0. Can Jeff Dean provide a spark? As on the first, first and 10, Jeff Dean completes a 20-yard pass to Jason Blacklock. Now going to be first and 10 from the 41-yard line. Jeff Dean under center with three tight ends. Hands the ball off to Drew Stevens. And Stevens has a huge run. Now has 58 rushing yards on the game. And now looking better for that dev. It's going to be first and 10 from the 42. Pistol formation here for the Huskies. As Jeff Dean is now sacked, and no matter who the quarterback is, this offensive line just isn't going to block us. We've ch we we tried to upgrade it over the offseason and through the draft, and still this O line isn't playing too well. As it's second and thirteen now from the forty-five. As Jeff Dean's rolling out, finds Hunter Purcell, 
and Hunter with a drop on the play. Ugly drop for Hunter on that play as he was wide open. It's now going to be third and 13 from the 45, and Huskies are just looking to get something positive on this play. As Damian now with a drop on the play. Back to back drops for this Huskies offense. As the offense is going to stay on the field down 34 0. It can't really get any much worse. From the 45, an empty formation here. As a great throw by Jeff Dean right over the linebacker to Jason Blackburn. Blackburn. Blacklock. I can't even remember my own players' names. But a great play, great throw by Jeff Dean. Just cooking it up right there. He hands the ball off to Drew Stevens on first and 10. Loss of one on the play. Now it's second and 11 from the 22-yard line. See what this offense could do here. Play action pass. Jeff is going to hit Hunter across the middle of the field. Hunter is going to pick up 10 on the play. It's going to be a third and one from the 12. Third and one eye formation here for the Huskies. It's going to be a handoff to, to Drew Stevens. And Stevens walks into the end zone as it was great blocking from Daniel Fernandez and Damian Harrison who led the way. And Drew walks into the end zone. As Daniel Fernandez thought he played well last week with the injury to Claiborne. And we decided to keep him as the starter. And with how he's been playing, don't expect him to lose that job anytime soon. As it's really the right side of the line that's been killing us. As the Chiefs will now begin the drive at the 25-yard line. As you see, Selby's getting close to a thousand yards on the season for the Kansas City Chiefs. As Lamb still has his X Factor in the game. It's a great hit by Johnson and McMillan, and somehow, some way, the receiver Rainey was still on his feet. Picked up nine on the play. It's now a second and one from the 34 yard line. And a great ball to Waddle, only where he could get it on that throw right there. As he had two defenders coming down to try and get the ball. And now it's going to be first and 10 from the 34-yard line. As the Chiefs are just killing us right now. Every time we come out, man, they are flipping the play. And they are just running away with it right now. As it's first and 10 from the 34 yard line, CJ Hunter comes in, gets his second sack of the game and of the season. Two huge sacks for CJ Hunter. And that one will lose the X Factor for Lamb. As it's now going to be second and 18. Huskies do send the blitz. As somehow Bryson Connor didn't bring down Waddle right there, breaks that tackle. Dylan finally able to tackle him. It's now going to be a third and five from the 31 yard line. As CJ is coming in hot on this one, and CJ hits him. And this is the number one overall pick we've been waiting for. And CJ Hunter has is finally showing up and showing out. As the Chiefs will be able to kick three on this one. Go up 37 to 7. But, you know, you have to take the positive with the negatives. And the positive so far this game is the D-line. And it, especially CJ Hunter. As he's really starting to show out. And we've been seeing it in the past couple weeks. as He's been getting a ton of pressures. just hasn't been able to close out on the sacks. Great coverage right there by the Chiefs on the kick return unable to do anything 
It's now going to be first and 10 from the 16-yard line. Jeff Dean still in the game. Danny Barnes now in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff to Danny Barnes. And Danny able to pick up seven on the play. It's going to be a second and three now. From the 23-yard line. Bunch formation for the Huskies. As Foster caught the fumble. And this offensive line is really, really struggling. As that will end this quarter. Huskies down 30. See if they could mount a little comeback late in this one. It's now going to be third and 12 from the 14-yard line. As Jeff Dean feels the heat, only runs for three yards, and Huskies will have to punt. As Jeff didn't want to take a sack and just tried to run for it, unable to get it. As the Chiefs will fair catch this one from the 33 yard line, and Selby over 100 yards on the day with two touchdowns, and here comes the offense once again. First and 10 from the 33 yard line. Lamb under center here. Hands the ball off and CJ thought CJ shed it in time, but Boston able to run right past him. Able to pick up five on the play. It's now going to be a second and five from the 38 yard line. Lamb and gun. And McMillan and Johnson able to hold Boston to a one-yard gain. And the running run game hasn't really worked out for the Chiefs so far. As C.J. Hunter is coming. And C.J. Hunter, McMillan combined for the sack. They're going to give the full sack to McMillan. But C.J. Hunter was the first to hit him. And he is really breaking out. Coming back from his injury, he's been really good. And he's, I think he's finally just starting to get comfortable in his role. As it took him a while, but he's finally doing it. And it's going to be first and 10 from the 19 for the, for the Huskies. As Jeff Dean just kind of throws this one away. As the Chiefs have six acts on this game. And the game's not even over as there's still 5.30 left in this one. As Jeff Dean don't know where he was throwing it on that one. Under pressure once again. It's now going to be a third and 10 from the 19. As Jeff Dean throws this one up to Drew Stevens who... Probably had a touchdown on that one. And Jeff Dean unable to hit him. And we, we're going to have to get a quarterback that's going to be able to hit the deep ball. And so far, we don't have that on the roster. And right now, we don't have a quarterback that can hit a throw. As Jeff Dean can't even complete a simple 10-yard out route. As it's first and 10 now from the 19 for the Chiefs. After the turnover on downs and Selvi breaking multiple tackles down to the three yard line. The Chiefs threatening the score once again. It's now first and goal from the three. Goal line formation for the Chiefs. It's the play action and nearly picked off by Thompson as Caden came in untouched on the play and Thompson nearly picks that one off. Wiggins with a great tackle for loss of one on the play. That's the second tackle for loss. It's now going to be a third and four. Third and four from the three yard line. As an easy pitch and catches. Waddle beats Dylan on the slant. And this team and the Raiders are the Huskies kryptonite. 
as we can't touch them. We've played one close game with both the Chiefs and the Raiders, and the rest of the two have been blowouts. As Hunter kicks this one deep into the end zone, and Gage will just knee it. The Huskies will begin their drive once again from the 25-yard line. As this Huskies team can't even move the ball on this Chiefs defense. As they go with a draw play and Stevens loses two. It's Pope with a nice tackle on the play. It's going to be a second and 12 from the 23 yard line. As a, just a bad throw by Jeff Dean and he might be playing worse than Josh right now. As it's going to be a third and 12 from the 23 yard line. Four down territory once again and Stevens motions out to the right. As Jeff is able to hit Hunter Purcell wide open and a 12 yard pickup for the first. It's going to be first and 10 from the 36 now. As the Huskies hand the ball off to Drew Stevens and Stevens only able to pick up two. As he's 31 yards away from getting his dev and got to see if Coach Paul is going to be able to give him the ball enough to get it. As it's second and seven. Stevens is open on the... And that's his second fumble of the game. And that one kind of looked like he was down, but I guess not. As Stevens has two big fumbles. They're, they are going to review this one. See what they call on the play. And it's overturned. He was down. Luckily for Drew Stevens, he is down. That was going to be his second fumble of the game. And now it's first and 10 from the... As a great catch from Jamal Lacey. As Jeff Dean threw it on the run. A risky pass across the middle of the field. And now the Huskies are inside the 11-yard line. Still down big in this one, but... Fight until the very end. As it's a first and 10 now from the 11 yard line. As Jason Blacklock catches that one down to the four yard line. It's going to be a second and three from the four yard line. Three tight ends on the field for the Huskies. As they run the ball and they hand the ball off to Drew Stevens. Stevens trying to fight his way. Not able to stiff arm him his way past the one defender. It's going to be third and one from the two yard line. It's going to be pistol formation here for the Huskies. And it was a bootleg. Jeff Dean had Hunter wide open. And just unable to hit Hunter as you hear the boos from the crowd. So it is fourth and one from the two. Hand the ball off to Drew Stevens, and Stevens isn't able to get it. Got probably a half a yard on the play, just unable to get the first. And it's going to be first and 10 from the one for the Chiefs now. As Boston loses one on the play. So I don't know how it's not a safety, but it's not a safety. Whoops. I don't want to switch the camera angle. It's going to be a second and 11 now. As Boston is breaking tackle after tackle. As the Chiefs will hang on to win this one. 44 to 7. Because that will be the end of it. Just an awful performance from the Huskies overall. Offensively, defensively, whatever. Just an awful performance. Both quarterbacks played bad. Jeff Dean played better, but... Just an awful performance from both of them. Drew Stevens, unfortunately, didn't get his dev. Was about 15 yards short. Not really any drops from the receivers, and we like to see that. 
as we gotta check out blocking and Simmons allowed three sacks, Kemp allowed one, Corey allowed one, just Johnson and McMillan, of course, led the team in tackles. Two tackles for loss for CJ Hunter, two sacks as well, two tackles for loss for Wiggins, a bunch of tackles for loss for this D-line, four sacks on the game. No picks, two deflections, one from Thompson, one from Dylan. No forced fumbles, but that will do it in this one as the Huskies fall 44 to 7 to the Chiefs and fall to 3 and 10 on the season. Have to figure something out on offense, and we'll try to do that in week 15. As I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.